What's going on everybody? Welcome back to, I guess, this video, because it's still the same video. Um, yes, so it's officially like a couple months later. I don't remember when I last filmed part of this video, but I believe the last clips I have were me putting together the desk. Uh, I was trying to figure out where everything goes. Honestly, I got to a point where I just kind of gave up there a little bit. But at this point, I'm comfortable to call the desk officially done. But that's a bit of a lie because it's never really done. But either way, this is pretty much the setup I've gone with. It's pretty simple. I'm a simple guy and I have simple taste, so this is where we're at. This isn't like the most flashy, high-tech desk in the world. So I do simple video editing, simple photo editing, and the occasional stream from my Mac and Xbox. But that's about it. The chair. I don't know what it's really called. It's a GT racing chair. I'm not sure what the make and model of it is, but it's red and it's not actually all that comfortable. I guess the centerpiece of the desk is this 2020 27 inch iMac. It's not maxed out or anything. I think it's like the mid tier version, but still pretty expensive computer. I ended up picking this one up used on eBay for like half the price that's actually worth. Somehow I did pretty good there. Um, if you just like shop around long enough, I think you can usually find a good deal and it's in really good condition. Like there's really nothing wrong with it. So that's really cool. Underneath, you'll have a lot of hard drives. I personally would love to set up some sort of RAID drive where I could just have a tower on the side of my computer that stores literally everything. But for now, since I don't have that, I've basically just gone with a bunch of single terabyte hard drives. So I have like this little SanDisk one, which is actually kind of amazing. It's a terabyte of storage and it's super fat. And my plan at this point is to just fill up a bunch of like one terabyte hard drives, stick them in a drawer and forget about them, which leads me to the next part of the desk, the drawers. So everything from the actual desk bit is actually from Ikea. So this plank of wood is actually a kitchen counter. Plenty big. You got more than enough real estate on that end and then more than real enough real estate on this end. So I'm comfortable with the size of the desk, but could have gone bigger. There's also the drawers underneath. So these aren't the actual drawers that I wanted, but I guess they don't make the ones I wanted. Or I guess not anymore anyway. So I had to go with these instead, but honestly they did the same thing. And I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but it's pretty sturdy. Like. It doesn't really shake at all, um, so I feel pretty good about that. So the second monitor here is actually a monitor from my work. So I do obviously all of my work remotely. Most often I will have my work laptop popped open on the desk right here where this keyboard is. The keyboard kind of gets moved to like down here temporarily because I'm not using this during the day. Kind of unfortunate actually that that computer just sits dormant most of the time. Maybe I throw a podcast on there or some music, but otherwise it's off. And yeah, laptop here. Excel spreadsheets and whatnot on the screen. Good to go, that's my work setup there. Uh, it usually gets pretty cluttered during the week when I'm starting to take notes and I just like pile up with a bunch of random stuff on the desk, but currently it's very clean and I like it. When I'm not working, so maybe on the weekends if I decide to stream or in the evenings, you guys have seen maybe some of those, link down in the description below. I will actually throw the gameplay up here and then video capture on the Mac. So I've actually explored uh, with the idea of streaming for my Mac. It does actually seem to work well enough anyway, I would say. Um, and our Wi-Fi at the house is fast enough generally, so I can usually run a stream uh, without any hiccups. That said, I'm still setting it up and kind of new to it all. So getting the audio to run through the stream computer, it's just, there's a lot of it. You know, I'm running headphones, which I haven't shown you, but they're like little Steel Series headphones for gaming. Um, plug right into the controller down here, which you guys can hopefully see. Xbox One X, uh, bought it used. The hard drive's kind of funky, so it hasn't been working yet all that well lately. Um, but I do have an external hard drive, so I've just been running games off that. It works fine. Um, I will occasionally stream, as I mentioned before, but uh, yeah, not too much into the gaming scene, unless maybe I'm playing Forza or with friends. Uh, I use my vlog camera as a streaming camera just because I felt it's easiest. I was doing a GoPro at one point, but I do like the quality bump on this bad boy. Normally I have my softbox light, which is lighting me up currently behind the desk, so that'll light my face up while I'm streaming, that kind of thing. This seems to work quite well. And I just plug it in through a uh, micro HDMI cable and then I usually run power through the screen plugged into the computer to keep it charged while I stream. Moving on to the keyboard and mouse. So the keyboard is actually from, I believe, like the ten or $15,000 Mac desktop. So normally these come in space gray and that's the only option you can buy off Apple's website. But I really wanted the, the silver version with black keys, which I think just looks dynamite. I'll have a look, hold on. I just think that looks a lot better. So luckily enough for me, I found some random guy selling his online for like a hundred bucks. So I picked it up and much to my surprise, I did a little bit of hunting around on eBay. I'm not sure if this is still the case, but these things go for like 250 to $300. So 
kind of rare that I got one for half off. That's pretty good. It also came with a magic mouse, but I ditched it. I still have it, I guess, in my drawer. But I'm a big trackpad user, uh, especially when it comes to like Photoshop and Lightroom and all that kind of stuff. You can like brush with your finger, which I think is really cool. I had a, a custom skin thingy made for it. I'm not sure I'm totally sold on it because it's kind of like harder to draw your finger around, but it's got my logo on it. So that's kind of cool. Last little bit on my desk is actually my Bose speaker. I've had this thing for like, uh, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight years now at this point. That's actually Bose speaker number three uh, because I've had to send two others in because the battery would fail. Each time Bose has been super cool about it to just send me another one free of cost. So as long as they keep doing that, I'm gonna keep using it. I think it's a great little speaker. It's super portable and sounds really good. And then the last little bit, these are usually here, uh, just on the corner of the desk here, is my phone. AirPods, wallet, and keys, kind of like the main essentials in life. Yeah, the phone goes everywhere. If it's not in my pocket, it's probably on this corner over the desk. Same with the wallet and keys. Shout out my one series. Yep. And that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, I guess the only other thing is like, I normally keep my backpack just tucked on the side there. Um, it gets kind of dusty in this room just cause I'm like, uh, three of the four sides are just like outside, especially when it gets windy and all. It's just like, I don't know, dust seems to get in and settles. Where I'm going with that is I don't normally leave the bag open. Um, but yeah, it's normally just by my side. And then um, that's pretty much it. That's, I don't know if there's really anything else to go through. Cable management, we're not gonna discuss it because it's just a ball of cables just behind uh, one of these little storagey drawer, drawer units, but uh, you don't need to see that. Oh, the last thing I wanna say is the paintings or I guess the uh, pictures on the wall. I did those, of course, they're my photos. I wasn't gonna hang anyone else's photos unless I really like their work, which Chazzy Dog, if you're watching this video, there may be a print purchase on the way. Wink, wink. I got one more wall here, although I'm not sure if I'm gonna put my diploma up, up there or not. And then this spot is actually Oscar Bakke. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's a picture of a Koenigsegg Jesko. Super cool. Uh, Oscar Bakke is one of my uh, main photography, uh, I don't even know what you would call that. Idols? Yeah, he's an idol of mine. Shout out Washness. Uh, he actually was the one that I went through for the actual printing of the photos. Um, and they came out really good. They, yeah, they're like super high quality prints. I went for like a matte kind of finish and then I ended up putting a frame over it. But yeah, pretty simple. I think they framed up nice and they look good on the wall. So it's super modern, super minimal. Um, and it kind of frames the desk, which I like. The last little bit on those is the actual frames from uh, Ikea. I think they were like $20 a piece, maybe even cheaper, maybe like 12 bucks a piece. But yeah, pretty simple deal, easy, looks great. I like it. Shout out Washness Media though. If you wanna uh, buy some prints, have some prints of your own, I definitely recommend you should do that because it's there's something about just getting your photos back and actually seeing them in like a physical form. It's really nice. So uh, yeah, I would recommend you do that and Washness Media is a great place to go to get your prints. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Uh, pretty simple, but I've just been sitting on a bunch of desk footage for like uh, four or five months now at this point, so I figured I'd actually make a video and put it out. If there's any questions you have, or you wanna see my workflow on the computer when it comes to photo editing or video editing, let me know in the comments down below and I'll try and put together another video. But without further ado, we're gonna leave this one here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe, follow, like, all that kind of stuff. Links are down in the description below, Apex Pixel on Instagram. And that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.